Welcome back to another video of A Roman Racing. And if you guys have been uh, watched my last video, you guys know that I was uh, making a template for a intercooler ducting for my STI. So that is a template of cardboard that I made for my STI that is going to make sure to block off everything around here, all the open spaces and forcing air into my intercooler. Uh, so the bumper is actually let me just show you how it looks right now. Let me show you how it looks without it There we go. So without it, it's uh, you got all the space right here So air goes through here and air goes through there and then air goes up up into the uh, you know up inside the uh, bumper so I'm trying to have a uh, block off this whole space right here to force air into the intercooler so we can get more cooling and also air into the radiator into the rear of the intercooler so blocking off this part right here that side right there blocking right here so I can force all the air going into the intercooler so I'm going to be making my air ducting with uh, aluminum composite aluminum composite is like uh, two sheets of metal like aluminum uh, sandwich in between uh, Plastic. I don't know if uh, right there if you could see it. Let me try a different angle right here. Uh, it is a little piece of plastic, like solid plastic in the middle, and then this is aluminum. It is bendable, uh, which is what I use for my air dam on my splitter. Um, and then this is, of course, it's black because I like black. So right now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be tracing this my little template into uh, that I need to add like at least an inch here and uh, like maybe half an inch on top to make sure that I have proper coverage and then from there after I actually do this part then I have to install in the bumper and then I have to deal with the insides of it so actually directs air into and not doesn't escape inside the bumper and not into the intercoolers uh, the bottom part, I don't really have to worry about it because there is already a cover there, so it kind of forces air to go up. And then the top part, I want to make a cover there so it actually keeps all air from going into the, uh, not around the intercooler, so it goes around the intercooler. So uh, I'm going to do this real quick. First, trace it up here with my Sharpie. Try to use as much material as I need so I can actually have excess material for whatever else project I have in the future. And then uh, then hopefully I don't mess this up. Do it once and then that's it. Then I gotta get buy some hardware at the store to make sure that it actually looks pretty. And also that uh, if you guys see that little red strap right there, that's my tow hook strap. I gotta make sure that I probably have to do like a little slit there to actually put the tow hook strap um, into it uh, because I actually need it for time attack. This is what I have so far is uh, my template for this right here don't mind the extra lines I had to do you know that first and then add the extra inch half an inch over here so uh, making sure I will double check that all everything is kind of the same um, uh, measurement in each side uh, you don't have to worry about you know jagged like you know not pretty straight because I have a little cover that is gonna go around uh, the uh, you know this little blocking ducting here um, so right now I'm gonna grab my saw uh, I got like a little hand saw I'm gonna start doing it outside I kind of want to start the inside first because I have no idea how to actually get the saw inside maybe I'll try to make a hole here or something and then slowly go into the you know into the line and then um, do the same thing and then the outside is easy I just start right here go around and then like there use this part as a straight because this is cut nice and straight uh, I cut uh, that side when I was doing my air dam so this side is pretty straight and using that just this little spot right here so it should be good to go all right so I've tested uh, how to do this so 
I basically made a hole with my drill right here so I can actually fit my saw which has this little blade right there and then slowly go into the line right here and then I went right back I messed up right there it was going up too high but nothing that that little trim that I'm gonna put can actually cover and then I made holes here for this line made holes here for this line and then made hole here for this line and then that's how I am getting into the inside portion of it the outside should be pretty simple it's just go in there there and in there and that's done so let me uh, work on this and then uh, go on the outside and then we can start test fitting and doing everything that I need to do all right so here it is completely cut already and uh, that's pretty much it what we have here I'm gonna put it on the car real quick all right so that's how it sits um, it's still kind of flat but once we start bolting it up we can start bending it uh, nice and slowly uh, start with the middle bolt which I have like a little line already uh, setting up the middle portion of the opening so <clears throat> yeah I am trying to see what I'm going to use as a bolt and to bolt the top and then I have brackets for the bottom and then the sides which is just be bolted to the bumper and that's it so I have to go to the store and make sure to see if I can find some black bolts uh, with black washers and that's it all right so after a trip to the store I got my bolts and um, bolts got washers I got nuts and uh, it took a little longer than I expected to go to the store because I had to get other stuff you know family stuff and now I'm losing my day and I uh, I work tomorrow so I'm kind of trying to put turbo on myself and trying to get this done real quick. So right here I'm about to do my first hole and i um, kind of scared so I'm trying to line up perfectly in the center right here make the hole right there that is only attached into this top part I only have very little uh, there um, in here and um, so I'm, I'm gonna do right in the middle first and then I'm gonna do this bottom part here because then these two parts are gonna be uh, tight and then these parts are gonna be f uh, like bending to the uh, bumper uh, it's you know bending over so if you guys see there's like a space here but because it bends then I'm gonna bend it uh, nice and slowly start in the middle because it's kind of like it kind of goes into like a semi-circle kind of thing so I'm gonna do the first hole here and wish me luck because once I start doing holes that's it if it looks ugly then screw it and then um, I guess sometime in the new future I'll get a different bumper and then say screw this stuff but uh, it's it's time attack it doesn't have to be pretty it's not a show card it's just making everything that actually works perfectly how it's supposed to work and stuff like that so I'm gonna start making holes uh, I'm not gonna record it just in case if I mess everything up so I have pretty much lost all my daylight that I you know have for recording this video and uh, so right now it's uh, almost about to be nine o'clock at night and I am not done I still need more stuff but I gotta actually bolt it up uh, pretty good so let me show you real quick so right now I know it uh, the wrapper is still on and it, you know you can't really tell like um, you know the wrapper kind of mess how it actually looks but if you see I actually bolted it right here right there 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 I have a different bolt there because I needed a longer bolt I'm pretty sure now with uh, how it it's bent I can actually go and put my uh, my black bolts back on um, same thing with here it's just that I needed to it's kind of like in a weird angle so I actually needed a longer bolt to actually help bend that over and then uh, these three on the bottom which are little L brackets that I used uh, so it's right there it's not completely tight yet see so you guys see it's still moving so um, right now I'm going to see I don't know what to do next really uh, I might uh, put it back on the STI and kind of uh, measure how much do I need so I can put the other uh, the little blocking things that I'm going to put here 
and the same here I'm, I'm not entirely I don't think I'm gonna do here because it already has a little plastic here that forces air into the intercooler um, uh, and then I need to, I needed like a little plate here and a little plate there and then here so I'm gonna see I'm gonna put it the uh, the bumper on the STI measure with my see how much material do I need and then start putting those in a few moments later I have some progress after I have everything bolted up I did the sides as you see right there the sides I already took the sticker off the sides just to make it look a little bit cleaner um, I would like to take this off but I'm not ready yet I got the sides already done and they're nice and tight now if you guys see right here I have a little cardboard right there that's my next template to um, cover the top part. But I have ran out of uh, bolts. So I don't have, not even the silver bolts, which are the ones that are gonna be like in the inside. Um, I, ran off, I ran out of all the bolts. So now it's uh, 9, 11, it's dark out. Lowe's is closed and I have to wait till tomorrow for uh, more bolts and get this done. It's getting pretty late and um, yeah This is as far as I have gone today. It's looking good. Everything has been Test fitted the sides. So there's just tiny tiny little gap back here because I don't want to be touching the inner cooler or anything like that uh, one thing I do have to figure it out is my cables my cables are like coming from behind here so they're they're like behind this little thing behind this little so I don't know if I'm gonna be making a hole to get the cables down uh, to my splitter so I have to yeah I'll be I'm probably gonna be end up making a big hole for the cables here also the little line that I have to do here for the toe strap hole here and hole over there so that's something that I have to figure it out for tomorrow and um, yeah and it's gonna it might be uh, I don't just don't want to mess it up because I gotta make sure that the hole is in the correct place when it goes to the splitter right there so it might be one of the last things I'm gonna do is the hole and that's it um, yeah and then probably the hole has to go has to be like kind of long because you know it's going that way so yeah uh, I'm just gonna keep going on this to tomorrow the next day okay so it is the next day and uh, I worked on it a little bit I went to the store bought some hardware bought a bunch of it just to make sure that I am I am not missing anything but I didn't need as much hardware as I thought I was gonna need because I found a different way to do it a little bit better and I pretty much have it almost complete all I just gotta do is just take off this the little plastic cover and uh, put the trim on uh, as best as I can and then that's pretty much completely done so right here that's uh, it is all completed here this one is not completely bolted down because it is um, it's gonna be a little bit tight underneath there, but uh, there's a cover here, there's a cover on top, all the way around and everything, it is good to go. So right now I'm gonna take the bumper off and start taking, peeling this off. I gotta take off all the bolts again and then put the little trim I'm gonna put and then make it nice and clean and that's it. Still gotta change these bolts, I bought longer bolts for this, black ones. These ones are still, um, uh, like the silver color, but then I'm gonna change that uh, sometime in the future because I didn't, I couldn't find these ones short. I need these ones pretty short so they can fit with both bolts in there. All right, so the ducting is complete. I am not a hundred, a hundred percent done, but at least the ducting part with everything it is actually complete. It made like a nice little box, and it is uh, forcing all the air into the intercooler now i still have to make like the holes for the cables and for the uh toe strap but um i have to i'm already late to work so i have to go to work already and 
so I gotta leave this for another day but here's where I'm actually going to be ending the video and I'll show you just a moment um, my little air ducting uh, it's not hard it's just it, it takes kind of like some skill with arts and crafts and cutting and measuring and sometimes um, trial and error it's uh, it's what it works so I think it looks pretty good it looks clean uh, I did the little trim around and it looks I mean it's not gonna be looking perfect and it's not a show car it's just a race car so everything to make sure that everything works so here it is is the ducting for the STI for the intercooler uh, I don't know if you there's too much sunlight if you're able to see it but there you go from far away nice little small box to force any air into the intercooler and let me get you a little bit closer and then this is the trim that I was talking about you know it's not perfect here you know unless I really really round this out but I don't think I'm gonna be rounding it out so a little because I gotta do like in pieces uh, because it won't turn it won't like curve uh, like it should be and then you got the inside too inside is a little bit better because it's very squared uh, right there and then you got the inside right here there's no trim on the sides on the insides because it's not needed but uh, got on top on the bottom on the sides so and it's really really close to the intercooler I don't think it's touching the intercooler maybe this bottom one is touching just a slight bit but now it's not really touching it's not touching I thought it was but it's not touching um, and the bottom one is only held here there's a little bit gap kind of there but it's because of the the um the bracket right here it's a little bracket there so there is a tiny small tiny little gap there but that's pretty much it everything is uh pretty good sealed all in there really nicely so it's not too bad so it's uh, actually looking pretty good I'm, i can't wait to actually start using it and uh hopefully i get you know better air into my inner cooler into my radiator and this is the huge mess I have in my garage with working with all this stuff, which I have to leave uh, maybe for a couple of days till I'm done with the STI. And with that, I'm going to finish the video right here. I and hope you guys enjoy and it gives you an idea for those that actually want to do something similar to this. And if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing for more videos like this. And if you guys would like to see something else done to the STI or give me ideas to the STI, just, just leave me a comment below or anything that you guys would like to see on the new WRX. Uh, there's videos coming soon for the WRX. I just haven't had any time because I have been doing the grit life preparation. So with that being said, see you guys on the next one.